How many pets do you have? I have four pets. Four pigs. I have five pets. I have ten pets. Three pets. I have three pets. I have three pets. Two pets. I have six pets. I have four pets. I have ten pets. I have seven pets. Hello. It's Mr. Leatherwood and... Mrs. Leatherwood. Mrs. Leatherwood today. I'm so excited. Our first video together. So we interviewed some students about the number of pets that they have. And we're going to use these cards to represent the data that we collected. So I know they're a little far away, so let me zoom in here. Okay, so we have all these cards to represent the different data that we have. Got it, Mrs. Leatherwood? I got it. Okay, so today we're going to talk about mode, median, and range. And we're going to use the data we collected about the number of pets that we have. So, Mrs. Leatherwood, we have all this random data just kind of thrown out there, not in any particular order. How do you think we should order it before we get started? Any ideas? Maybe in numerical order? Number um, order? Number order? Okay. Would you, you think we should go greatest to least or least, least to greatest? or Least to greatest? Okay. So, let's do that. You mind moving them around and putting them in least to greatest? No. We got a soundtrack in the background. That's kind of nice. All right, so Mrs. Leatherwood left me. Um, so we've got them least to greatest. So let's talk about range first. Do you know what range is? No, sir. Okay. So the range is the distance from the smallest number to the greatest number. So what is the smallest number? Two. Two. And what is the greatest number? Ten. Ten. Okay, so we have 10 and we have 2. So what would be the distance from 2 to 10? Or how do you think you would find that? Subtract. Okay, so what is 10 minus 2? 8. Very good. So <laughs> the difference between 10 and 2 or the range from the smallest to the biggest would be what? 8. Very good. The range is going to be 8. Okay, you can put those cards back down. Okay. Okay. So then we're going to talk about mode. Okay, the mode is the one that occurs most often. So if we look through all our data, so we've got a two, a couple of three threes, two fours, five, six, seven, and two tenths. Okay, which one occurs most often? Three. How do you know that? Because there are three threes. Three threes. Are there not any three of anything else? Nope. Nope. Um, so our mode occurs most often. How would you remember that? They sound alike. They do sound alike. So our mode would be what in this case? Three. Very good. It is going to be three. Um, I have a tricky question. You ready for a tricky question? I guess. Okay. What if I took away this three and we have a new set of data? So let's just scoot this little guy over. Now what occurs most often? A bunch of numbers. Okay, show me those bunch of numbers. Three. I have two threes. Two fours. Good. And two tens. Very good. So that's kind of tricky. What's our mode now, you think? Three, four, and ten. Very good. Our mode can be <laughs> multiple numbers. Three, four, and ten. Very good job. All right, let's push this back down. Can I put my three back? Yeah, let's put our three back in there, too. Okay. So we've done range, the distance from the lowest to the highest. We've done mode, the one that occurs most often. Now let's do median. Now, median's kind of tricky. What do you think median stands for? Middle. Why do you think middle? Because you can't drive on the median in the middle of the road. There you go. The median's the one in the middle. So how would you find the, the data that's right in the middle? Count. Mm, show us. I don't know what you mean by count. Um, one, two, three, four, five, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. So I go one, two, three, four, five in. One, two, three, four, five in. That has to be the middle. So four is your median. Very good. That's a great way to do it. So what's our median then? Four. Four. So let me make it a little trickier. No. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going to take away this 4. So let's squish our data back together. Okay. So we got rid of 4. Now I have 10 numbers. Uh-huh. So how are you going to find the median now? I don't know. <laughs> well, let's try the same thing you did. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. It's even. Uh-oh. So let's push those two cards up. That's a good idea. So these are the two cards that were left over, a 4 and a 5. Hmm. What's right in the middle, right here, between 4 and a 5? 4 and a half. Very good. So what would be our median? 4 and a half. 4 and a half is going to be our median. See, it's not too tricky. <laughs> All right, very good job. So there's your introduction into mode, median, and range. So let's review. Mrs. Leatherwood, what is range? The distance between your data. Very good. From the lowest to the highest, right? Yes. What's our mode? The number that occurs the most. Very good. And what is our median? The number in the middle. Awesome job, Mrs. Leatherwood. Thank you. Great first video. I won't teach fifth grade. <laughs>